Alright, hello there YouTube, Zilly Winxist here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about Radio Communications Part 2. Now, the first video, if you haven't seen it, will be in my budget prepping playlist on my channel. Uh, the first video we talked about picking a radio, what you want to look for, and now we're going to talk about picking an antenna and how to set up your radio basically in a mobile setting, not a base setting like this. We'll go over that in a further video if you would like me to put it in the comments. But anyway, basically, you're going to have three parts that you need to put together, maybe four. Um, you're going to have right here a microphone, or it might be in front, depending on what radio you pick. Now, there are differences in microphones. There's four pins, five pins, six pins, Ranger four pins, this four pin. Make sure you get the right microphone for your radio and all you have to do to make sure is check the packaging on the microphone whenever you go to buy it or if you're buying them online or whatever go ahead and check that out which I am gonna leave a bunch of links to a bunch of different forums websites places you can buy radios just tons of links in, the, in this uh, video so you can further your education on radios and so I don't have to waste a bunch of uh, video space <clears throat> on doing radios this is just a basic series if you want to go further into it and learn more which I'm sure a lot of you do because I got a lot of people that watched my last video well I'm gonna go ahead and put a ton of links down below and I'll probably do one or two more videos in this part of the series but anyway guys so you're gonna have your microphone connection you're gonna have your antenna connection and your power connection and then you're going to have a few other things like an external speaker. If you want one, there is a speaker on the inside of 99.9% .9 of radios. So when you pick a microphone, you don't want to go buy the cheapest, junkiest one you can. There's a bunch of different kinds of microphones. There's unamplified microphones. That's a base station microphone, but I got a bunch of these. So this is just a basic, basic microphone right there. Just a noise canceling microphone. Now, I do have somewhere a real noise canceling microphone, like a super duper one. Uh, I have no clue where I put it though, or what radio it's on, because I got so many. But there are noise canceling microphones, dynamic microphones, and powered microphones. And power mics are good because they can actually make your modulation a lot better. You want to run a 100% modulation. Like I said, if you want to learn about modulation, go ahead and look it up we're not going to go into that on this video but usually your stock mic that comes with the radio like that cobra mic that came with this old cobra 19 um you know that's going to be a good microphone and uh this ranger mic that came with this ranger is a good microphone so you know usually what you have is fine whatever comes with it but you don't want to go buy some cheap piece of junk because they're usually not as good as the microphone that you started with this is a 2018 uh, extreme turbo um, power mic that also does echo and delay it does all kinds of stuff if you want to go crazy and make your voice sound like a robot you know go ahead and buy an echo mic a lot of people will not talk to you if you have an echo mic or a roger beat though so uh you can buy radios also with echo this one has echo but basically all you do to connect your radio is say this is our antenna which i do not recommend these kind of antennas somebody just gave it to me so i took it i recommend getting a decent like fire stick or something like that and just a magnet mount and putting it on the very top of your car that will give you the best ground plane and whenever you transmit there's something called swr which is basically heat that's being transmitted back into the final transistor on your radio if you mount uh to bumpers and things like that and you don't make an artificial ground which is like i said if you want to know more about antenna theory you know go to the links below but uh basically if you get a magnetic mount and you get a fire stick that's three or four feet you're gonna be good and basically with SWR tuning is pretty easy you either raise or lower the antenna and uh, there will be instructions on most antennas on how to do that but you basically want a 1.1 SWR and most radios have an SWR meter in them a lot of people say they don't like it 
I personally like having one and I've found them to be just fine. But you want basically a one over one. So you're gonna slap that antenna right on top of your car. You're gonna mount the radio wherever you want in the vehicle. They always come with mounting brackets. It could be upside down on top of this or that, it doesn't matter. You can just lay it in there. It doesn't really matter, put it somewhere. You wanna put your microphone, get your microphone. Um, usually they come with a little microphone deal and I put that on the side of the radio. So if I wanna put a uh, hand microphone right there, I can put the hand microphone right in the side of the radio. And then you're gonna have to find a place to put in your power, which will usually be either you can get a cigarette lighter kind of style plug. Uh, if you have like a Cobra 29 or something like that, plug it right in the cigarette lighter, put your antenna on top of the car with a magnetic mount, and you're gonna need the uh, RG58 or RG8 cable and basically just screw it in the back and you got a setup in like five minutes if you want to get more technical go to the links below but anyway guys that's just the basic basics of radio communications um, next we will talk about actual transmission and broadcasting and we might have a conversation maybe try to talk some skip on the next video tiddlywinks is signing off rate comment subscribe and i'm out of here